The second generation AirPods Pro are finally available. And so in this video, we're gonna go over all of the new features that you need to know about these new AirPods from Apple. Now, the biggest difference for the AirPods Pro from a visual standpoint comes with the MagSafe charging case, so let's just start there. As you can see here, there's a lanyard loop available so that you can attach a lanyard and make it easier to carry around, but Apple doesn't really sell its own lanyards, so you'll have to buy a third-party one if you'd like to take advantage of that loop. And there are a few speaker holes on the bottom of the charging case that you can now use to place sounds when, say, you're trying to locate your AirPods Pro via the Find My application. It can also play alerts when successfully pairing your AirPods Pro or when you place them on a charger. Now, speaking of Find My, the Find My application also allows for precision tracking with this next generation AirPods Pro. And so once you're within range, you can get accurate guidance to your AirPods Pro, say they're lost inside of a couch cushion or something. Precision tracking will make it easier to locate. This worked just as well as it did when testing an AirTag, for example, so it's kind of the same concept, and it could be really helpful for those who seem to lose their AirPods Pro a lot. Now, when you pop open the lid, you'll see the new AirPods Pro 2, which, um, well, they're gonna look a lot like the original AirPods Pro, but there are actually a few subtle differences when you start to compare them right next to each other. The microphone and acoustic vent were actually moved to a different location here, as you can see, compared to the original AirPods Pro, which, again, isn't probably going to be very noticeable right off the bat, but it's a change that you can actually see, and so it's worth mentioning. And there are also extra small ear tips inside of the box uh, for those who need even smaller ear tips than the small, medium, and large options that are also available inside of the box. But perhaps the biggest features for the AirPods Pro 2 um, all stem from changes that you really can't see. And we'll start with the new H2 chip, which is what drives the entire AirPods Pro experience, and according to Apple, will deliver three-dimensional sound, smarter noise cancellation, and more efficient battery life. So let's start with the new active noise cancellation, which because of the H2 and the new location of that vent, it's now capable of two times more noise cancellation than the previous generation. And during my limited testing, I will say it's not very noticeable at first, the differences at least, um, but if you're in a semi-loud environment, it's gonna feel a little bit of the same. But I noticed when going outside, getting in louder environments like heavy traffic, constant hawking, construction, the new AirPods Pro were in fact much better at silencing the outside noise. The new adaptive transparency mode also leverages the H2 chip in efforts to minimize the intensity of loud noises like sirens or power tools or the environment that I was in when I was testing the active noise cancellation. This actually does work quite well and is very similar to the way it felt, again, with active noise cancellation. It wasn't very noticeable at first until you get that sudden loud noise like a siren driving by or a lot of cars honking or, you know, Apple's depiction of if you're walking by somebody who's jackhammering the sidewalk, it's going to quickly reduce the decibel level so that you aren't amplifying those loud noises when you're walking by because transparency is in fact a feature that's supposed to help kind of lift up the sounds around you so that you can hear somebody when talking to them. And so if you walk by something and you have transparency on and it's a really loud noise, you don't want it to amplify that even more. And so what it does is it automatically reduces that sound. As far as audio quality goes, I don't think there's a massive difference in audio quality when listening to music on a daily basis. There is a little bit of a difference. It's definitely trending towards better than the previous generation, but there is one major thing that I noticed, and that's the sudden presence of low end, uh, or a lot more low end in certain situations. So if I was listening to music that you know takes advantage of lower end frequencies, I noticed that it was a lot more robust, a lot punchier, and just warmer than the previous generation. So if you like a lot of bass, or you thought the last previous uh, AirPods um, lacked low end, and then the AirPods Pro 2 might actually surprise you here. One feature that I was incredibly excited for is the addition of volume controls right on the earbuds themselves. And finally, finally, we now have the ability to do that. And all you have to do is swipe up or down to control the volume on the stems. I know some people might not care or thought it was a big deal, but for me, this is huge. Sometimes I like to leave my phone elsewhere. Maybe it's not you know, right next to me at all times and I want to adjust the volume and not go have to find my phone or take it out of my pocket. It's just a lot easier to swipe up on the earbud 
earbud. And there are a lot of other headphones out there that have this, and I'm finally excited to have this on AirPods Pro. So super happy about this addition. And lastly, the battery life. That's been expanded quite a bit, as AirPods Pro hasn't really had the best battery life when compared to other you know, competitors out there. But now we're looking at six hours of listening time, even with ANC activated. And that brings the total listening time with the charging case included, which will give you an additional 24 hours up to 30 hours total. So if you wanna know whether or not I think you should buy these AirPods Pro uh, 2 or not, I think it's a pretty simple kind of formula here. If you have a pair of AirPods Pro from 2019 and they seem to be dipping in performance, maybe you're getting crackling or just poor battery life, uh, whatever the case may be, if you think it's time to upgrade those, then definitely go get the AirPods Pro 2 instead of looking for maybe cheaper versions of another set of AirPods Pro, uh, the first generation. I think these are definitely well worth spending a little bit extra money on because of those extra features. I don't think it's one of those products that you need to go and upgrade to for the sake of upgrading to, especially if you have a good set of AirPods Pro already that are working just fine, then yeah, I don't think you need to rush out right away. I think that if you are in the market for AirPods Pro, these are definitely the best AirPods that you can get, and they're definitely gonna be worth the money, but maybe if you're not you know, at a rush to update, then I wouldn't you know, really go and do that right away. Of course, I'd love to hear your thoughts on the new AirPods Pro 2, everything that we just talked about. Do you think it's worth upgrading to or picking up a pair? Let me know in those comments. This has been Dan with Mac Rumors. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you around in the next video.